Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read Lucy's picture. It was written by Nicola Moon, and the pictures were by Alex Aleph. Here's some pictures made by some boys and girls. My grandpa's coming to visit today, said Lucy. How nice, said Mrs. Kelly. Now take a seat because we're all going to do some painting. Can I do a picture for grandpa, asked Lucy. Of course you may, said Mrs. Kelly. Lucy looked at the big sheet of white paper in front of her. Can't you think of what to paint, Lucy? Asked Mrs. Kelly. What would your grandpa like? Something nice and bright? Look at all those lovely colors. Lucy looked at the red and the yellow and the sky blue paints. They're not right, she said. May I use the glue? May I stick things on to make a picture? You mean a collage? Of course, but you'll have to sit at another table. There's not enough room here. Lucy took her paper to an empty table in the corner and she went and found a bottle of glue, some scissors and the box of scraps. Lucy loved Mrs. Kelly's box of scraps. She liked plunging her hands deep into the box and feeling with her eyes shut. Lucy started her pic picture. She cut some soft green velvet into curvy mounds for hills and stuck them on the paper. She made a lake out of blue shiny stuff and put it in between the hills. Then she found some flowery dress material. Grandpa has flowers like this in his garden, Lucy told Mrs. Kelly. Lucy cut around the flowers and stuck them in little clumps along the edge of the lake. At recess, Lucy was too busy to play. Instead, she collected twigs, leaves, and two small feathers. Then she filled her empty juice cup with sand from the sandbox. At last, it was time to go inside. Now, Lucy was even more excited about Grandpa's picture. She made him a tree out of the twigs and leaves, and she stuck the feathers at the end of a branch. Then she squeezed a long winding ribbon of glue over the hills and sprinkled sand over the glue to make a path. My grandpa's got a dog, Lucy told Mrs. Kelly. She's called Honey because that's what color she is. When Mrs. Kelly wasn't looking, Lucy trimmed a piece of her own hair and glued it to a dog she had made from a piece of paper. That's lovely, Lucy, said Mrs. Kelly. When it was story time, she put Lucy's picture safely on the side to dry along with the other paintings. Lucy couldn't wait to go home. She hadn't seen Grandpa in a long time. Her mother was waiting as usual, but today there was someone with her. Grandpa, cried Lucy. She nearly knocked him off his feet. I made you a picture, Grandpa. Look. Lucy grabbed her blind grandfather's hand and guided it over her picture. There were hills and here's a road. Grandpa touched the picture carefully. A tree, a bird, and what's this? It feels like your hair, Lucy. That's honey, said Lucy smiling. How clever and what a wonderful surprise. It's the best picture I've ever seen, said Grandpa. And hand in hand, Grandpa and Lucy and her mother walked home. I hope you enjoyed Lucy's picture.